I mean, anytime I can come out and inspire kids and motivate them to do great things, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm all for it. So it was just, um, I'm glad that I got the call to come out here and, uh, you know, just been enjoying it so far. Uh, you know, I just tell them, you know, you can do whatever you put your mind to. Uh, people used to laugh at me all the time when I said I was going to play in the NFL and uh, you can't do this and can't do that. And I'm like, look, you might can't do it, but I'm going to do it. And so just being able to prove people wrong and uh, achieve the things that I did and live out my dream, it was a blessing. Uh, so I just try to inspire children and kids that they can do the same thing and uh, just be great. Just, you know, work hard. You know, nothing worth having is easy. So you, you got to definitely push yourself and, you know, you can achieve whatever you want to achieve. So if I can come out here and influence them and they can see uh, live and in color a person that, man, played in the NFL, I, you know, want to come out here and inspire them. So I, I enjoy being able to do this. Now, when you you said you you really just came to know about the Governor's School for Agriculture uh, just very, very recently. What was your impression, your first impression when you heard that there was a residential high school, kids staying on campus and devoting themselves 100% to agriculture? I honestly was kind of mad because I'm like, dang, I missed out on something like that. <laughs> I, me being an outdoorsman, I, um, you know, I'm a big part of ag, man. I, I grow gardens, I fish, I hunt, and I do all that stuff. So just learning that it was a school for that kind of stuff, I'm like, man, I wish they had something like that when I was coming through. And, um, you know, but it's, it's, it's pretty cool that they have that now. And um, I'm glad that these kids are able to partake and be a part of this kind of school. So that's, that's, that's very, very great.